I'm Sal Calura. This is my wife, Mickey, and we have been attending Meadowbrook for five years. When we moved back to Tosa 11 years ago, we knew that Meadowbrook existed. And at the time we were attending Elmbrook, we were asked to facilitate a faith foundations class. And um, it was after a couple semesters of that had ended that we decided to come to Meadowbrook and get closer to where we lived. One of the things I really love about Meadowbrook is the family feel that's here. We've been at large churches, small churches. I just really love the teaching. I love um, the depth that's here. We have three grandchildren that attend here, along with our daughter and son-in-law, and it's been really fun to see them here and share that Sunday morning experience with them, as well as the four-year-old in particular, her excitement about going to Sunday school. She loves to come to Sunday school. She comes up always really excited after being in class. What excites me about knowing that Meadowbrook is going to continue to expand kids' ministries. I love that they minister to all ages, from little all the way up to teenagers. I think that's really important because those are such foundational years for kids. And to give them a good foundation in the Word of God and the fact for them to really understand that God is a plan for their life and He loves them and He wants to be part of their life. For me growing up, I did have that and it made all the difference in the world for me. I still made a lot of mistakes in my life, but to have that solid foundation was huge for me. And that really excites me that Meadowbrook has that as a priority as well. As grandparents, um, we're praying for our grandchildren. We're praying that they would find their identity in Christ at a young age, that they wouldn't be influenced so much by the world and the isms that are out there. And um, to know that that foundation is being poured into them uh, in, on, in Sunday school here uh, is, is a blessing huge. to our hearts. It's huge in our lives because they're reinforcing what, what we are praying about. Generosity means to me that I'm returning a blessing that I've received. By nature, I'm a selfish guy, and I think we all have learned that human nature is selfish, and it's really getting your eyes off of yourself and onto the Lord and His kingdom and what He wants to accomplish through His kingdom. And as I've grown and I've understood that this blessing and these blessings given to me by grace and his mercy is really for me to give give out, not to hoard, not to hold tightly, but to hold loosely. Because I think when the dust settles and our life is over, we're not gonna we're not gonna be wondering what do I have? It's what have I given? What have I done for the kingdom? Um, and it's it's not out of um, out of guilt. It's out of wanting to again advance the kingdom and be appreciative of the blessing and the love and the forgiveness and all of what's entitled and encased in um, being called and being chosen by the Lord it is extremely humbling. So I think a better attitude to have about giving is to not give begrudgingly but give joyfully. So often they say, give till it hurts. Don't give till it hurts, give till there's joy because when we partner with God to give and be generous, it should be a fun, exciting, joyful experience. We shouldn't think of it as sacrificing so much. We're being obedient to God. And if we're giving generously, we're also giving faithfully, and that's honoring God. I've played sports in my life, and a lot of times a team will reflect the attitude and character of a coach. And Brian, um, does that for us here in regards to um, we definitely catch his drift and where his heart's at for people and for advancing the kingdom of God. And it doesn't get better than that because we're all called to love God and to love people.